You know how they say that fresh eyes see the things that locals don't see? The following are what shocked me during my six-day visit to Rome with my family. Number one, the weather in Rome is too hot in the summer. What the hell is this heat? Oh my God. Oof. We wanted to come out very early before the sun becomes too intense but <laughs> it's 9 a.m now and the sun is already you can already feel the sun <laughs> just 9 a.m and look at the sun man sun is already sunning <laughs> when i heard about how hot it is in rome in july august i thought they were referring to the normal hot summer sun we have in spain because you know rome is on the same latitude as where we live in the north of spain and should have similar weather, right? Wrong! It was sweltering! This one is desert weather, not summer weather. Madre mia! Number two, things are much more expensive in Rome. Is it because it's the capital? Groceries are literally at least twice what we buy them in Spain. We use the same euro as Italy, so why? Some are three times more expensive, including pasta. Pasta should be cheap at the headquarters of pasta, shouldn't it? Number three, lots of tourist attractions are free to enter or tickets are very much reduced in Rome. Under 18s went into every attraction for free, including the almighty Colosseum. That will never be Spain. The St. Peter's Basilica is free for everyone. Wow. Sometimes they charge you to go to certain parts of some attractions. For instance, how they charge you to go up to the roof at St. Peter's Basilica for a panoramic view of the city. But getting to see the inside of the magnificent cathedral for free was mind-blowing. I know how much we paid to enter the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Number four, dirt everywhere. First impressions on the road from the airport to the Termini station, even close to the Termini station, which is the most central part of Rome. It was an eyesore. At some point, I stopped filming because it was too bad. Yes, it's the same, if not worse, in the neighborhoods. Look at how dirty these beans are. Look at how dirty this place is. Look at the grass around this water fountain. My husband drank from it, but I can't, man. No. Roman authorities, you need to do something about this. First impressions, Rome. I don't know if it's because I live in Spain, where they take extra care of their streets. Like, here, look at all these grasses growing here. Look at. And this place is even neat. There are some streets that have these uh, grasses growing and have paper all over the place like no 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 room 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 uh -uh. with all the tourists that come here the streets look like they are like abandoned just look at like an evil forest hey bam 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 look at I mean, the areas around the tourist attractions look clean, but these are neighborhoods where people live. No. Number five, these wonderful trees are actually pine trees. Very special pine trees. It took me a while to look at them closely to notice that they are pine trees. I love the way they are like umbrellas rather than the usual cone shape we know pine trees for. These are iconic. I love them. Now, I'll never look at pine trees the same again. Number six, it's very expensive to pee in Rome. One euro per new. In Spain, you can pee for free at public buildings, shopping malls, etc. So we came to this public toilet to pee. And they charged us one euro. One euro per new. Hey! One euro per new. Oh, it's too much. To give the toilet clean. No, no, you don't want to pee. They're charging one euro to pee. <laughs> Baby, it's not. To pay one euro for mommy. Yeah, mommy, you're a boy. Hey, she's not a girl. Oh, she's a girl. 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 
Number seven, I am used to massive supermarkets like Carrefour, Alcampo in Spain. So when we first arrived, we were looking up supermarkets close to us and we saw this one whose billboards were everywhere. We decided to go to it even though it was the farthest on Google Maps. We expected that with the massive billboards, it will be huge. When we got there, all of us shouted at how small it is, as can be heard in this video. See it here. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. It's so small. <laughs> Number eight, Roman drivers don't stop for pedestrians. You have to take at it by force by stepping onto the crosswalk. But how can one do that when they are all coming at you on top speed? Try you. Here, they don't stop for you at pedestrian crossing. You have to fight your way. You have to fight. <laughs> Crossing the road in Rome is like crossing the Red Sea. You need a strong person to come and part the traffic for you. Number nine, there's no access to the beach in Rome. At least we didn't see it. We went all the way from Rome to Ostia Beach, expecting to dip our feet in the sand, but we were massively disappointed that we could not even get close to the beach because all these restaurants in Rome turned the waterfront to their private beaches. You will have to be a guest at the restaurant to get access to the beach or something like that. Or did we miss the access to the beach? The large number of people standing at the pier compared to the few people at the beach will tell you that there's no public access. It ruined the whole experience for us. And to think that we left the Apian Way where we would have gone to to come to this beach hurt so much. Roman authorities, please fix this. People should have access to the beach without having to bypass some restaurants. Number 10. There is no order on the intercity buses. You fight for them like Molwe. I am used to a situation where you buy the intercity bus ticket, you are given a seat number. But this one, no seat number, everyone was rushing the bus. We were one of the first to buy the tickets for the bus and with few people ahead of us on the queue, we were sure we would get on the first bus that comes. But when the bus arrived, it was only by the grace of God and my husband who brought out his Molwe rushing skills that we were able to get on that bus. Wow. Also, there was no arrival time for the bus. You just stand and wait. It arrives when it arrives. In fact, the ticket sellers will give you a bombastic side eye when you ask about the arrival times. We chose to go into Rome by bus when we arrived so we could see the city. But because of this chaos, on our way out, we went to the airport by Leonardo Express instead. Nobody has got the energy for the buses. Please though, this is all in light banter. Just my observations with the eyes of a newcomer in Rome compared to where I live. I am in no way hating on Rome. If you followed our Stay in Rome series, you will see that my family and I had a swell time and we are definitely coming back. We still have more to see in Rome. We have not explored the rest of Italy, Pompeii, Florence, Venice, Napoli and many more. Click the video that pops up on the screen to watch the adventure from start to finish. Bye bye. Thanks for coming to Rome with us.